Hey guys, back on the server. Um, just fast forward time, returned a few things. Uh, paid a lot of money because we went over on our combine rental, so. What can you do? So I think I'm just going to leave the, uh, truck here for future, future, uh, purchases and, um, this guy is pretty much ready to go here. On. So we got all of our beans in. We got uh, all of. Uh, well, we're working on canola. We had this large field of alfalfa. We're gonna mow and bale to hay and sell. So that should help us on our bottom line. At least put a pretty decent dent in our loans, so we can keep on withdrawing. Uh, you know, have a little line of credit at least. Um, you can see that we started on canola. Um, we did uh, 27, 28, and yeah, uh, 24. I think we're going to pick up maybe like a field 25 or 14 or a 13, you know, a field over there. Uh, probably pick up field 3 as well, just so we have, a, you know, we can start uh, taking care of these uh, withered crops. now uh, six and seven are still growing in corn so 24 is harvested 28 27 is harvested 11 and 12 16 um, 15 and 10 six and seven are all corn 44 you can see our little strips working on now I'd really like to pick up this uh, 3, 18, and 17 again. Those are always really good fields to harvest. And then uh, two, two, 1 and 2 is also really good, but um, I mean, all these fields over here are really decent to, to farm. They just get boring after a while because they're just, you know, uh, so big. So we're unloading that. We had both of our Patriots. Probably take off our light. So this is uh, the field that we were harvesting in the, in the last video the, at night. I'm just going to empty the rest of my cart here and then go uh, work on that combine. Um, added uh, different textures from my 1500 Kinsey to this, the unload textures, so we get a little bit of bean animation. So overall, I mean, we're not farming that many acres, but I think we did pretty well on our uh, bean production. Um, hopefully our corn production does well. And then canola, canola, you really can't ask for much more uh, out of our canola field. I mean, it's, it's pretty much ideal. I 
ideal uh, nutrients and moisture right now in that field so So I can probably go ahead and turn off my pipe light. So what a reason the duals aren't on this combine when I got back on, so but uh, what can you do? Already at ninety six per cent. beans planted there. So it, it takes roughly um, wow, like for example field um, field 16 Uh, is uh, 690,000 and we pulled 283,000 liters of soybeans out of there and that's probably equivalent to I don't know with a good, pri good price on great demand um, maybe 50,000 a truck 
you know, pretty much one to one at that point. Uh, so that'd be roughly, I don't know, I, I would guess anywhere from like 200 to 280,000 we would get out of the, from selling those beans. So that field would pretty much pay for itself in just about three seasons we'd be profitable. Now, if we were to do a little bit better soil management, um, and then it really depends on the price, because some of the prices, like price per acre, of some of these fields is higher, some of it's lower. Um, some of it's like around 4,000 an acre, some of it's as high as 11,000 an acre. So it really depends on what kind of um, land you're looking to buy, how far it is. Um, how much obstacles, how uneven, is it parallel, is it easy to run with GPS kind of thing. So, um, the fields that aren't ideal, they're cheaper, um, we like to buy those up first just because, you know, we like to run the acres and, you know, if you're not using, uh, course play, it isn't that big of a deal because you can work around it manually with your GPS, but you know, like field uh, 11 and stuff like that. You know, even this field 20, it's pretty irregular. And so, it really depends on like what kind of um, crop you can actually turn a profit on the field. If you're running, you know, Eleven thousand an acre land. You know, you really need to have a pretty high, high profitable crop, and that's pretty much what that means. Is on this map at least is uh, it means we need to be running hay, hay production because we get twelve hundred or so a bale. You know, if we nurse alfalfa, we can get a pretty decent amount of tonnage. For example, field 38, you know, with pretty poor nutrients, we managed to pull out, like, uh, I think it was close to 200,000 worth of bales out of that field. Granted, it's a big field, but, you know, we could have easily doubled that in hay production if we were to, you know, actually own it and, and do the work for uh, soil management. So that's really, it's probably the highest yielding uh, price um, per acre. So you pretty much have to do it on those fields that are expensive in order to pay it off. And then once you really pay it off, then you can plant whatever you want. Curious to see what our total bean count will be for this season. I was really hoping for 500,000 liters. I don't think we really, like, touched it. Um, came anywhere close. Oh, so we're at 552,000. So my goal for the season was anywhere from 500 to 600,000. So I think we did pretty good. That will probably give us, um, you know, right around 250,000 maybe. Maybe a little bit more. It really depends. Cause we're at what is three 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 hundred ton three twenty a ton. So if we get a price multiplier of like one point eight one point nine, you know you're looking at six hundred six hundred twenty six hundred forty a ton. That would really help us out, which is about 60, probably 64 cents on a dollar we would get. So in a full truck, you know, uh, two trucks, we'd probably get uh, what are we hauling? We're hauling like 108,000.
but I mean, we'd st still probably be getting every two truckloads. We'd probably be getting close to 34, 35,000 a truck at that price point, so. You know, and then canola. We managed to get our canola harvest in. And, you know, it's not that big of a cart, but it works really great. So I think we'll be doing pretty well um, with our harvest this year. We'll probably, you know, between our beans, let's say that's close to, um, you know, if we get a great demand, let's say that's close to three, I don't know, three, 350, 400,000 out of that, probably close to 350,000 in beans. You know, canola, we're probably looking at, I don't know what kind of yield we'll get off get off of this field, but I think we'll probably pull in over 200,000 liters. You know, there'd be four trucks. I think we can get four trucks out of this big field. I mean, you look at our nutrients, we're, we're you know, Deal. So we're at optimal uh, performance here. So we're harvesting both these fields together, just like how we spray. Uh, the boys wanted to kind of like plow these two fields together, which I get, but like sometimes you might want to do a little bit of different crop in here. So. So we sprayed, uh, the last thing we put down here was herb, herbicide, helped us get that uh, last 14% uh, of moisture I think, some of the rains helped as well. Yeah, I think if we could like pick up 18 and 3 sometime soon, we'd be sitting really, really good over here on this side of the map. So it's always nice um, 
to see all of our hard work of tillage and cultivating and uh, nutrient application pay off. I mean, we did really well on this field. I mean, this is great. Our nutrients are spot on. A little bit high over here in the nitrogen, but. So we used to own this field, but we're just leasing it now. Cost us like three thousand a day to rent it, or no, twenty twenty two hundred a day to rent to lease this field. So every season, every uh, uh, harvest season, we pretty much drop. Uh, What's our gross to you? 5, 10, 15, 20. So we're pretty much dropping like 44,000 just to farm this land. Um, <coughs> so, you know, it already costs us 44,000 to farm this, plus, you know, all the uh, fuel we use for tillage and all the uh, uh, trucks truckloads, you know, tanks of uh, sprayer and nutrients, so, uh, I don't know, we probably put in like 40,000 in nutrients, 40,000 worth of nutrients into this field, and seed, and fuel, so we probably have close to 80 to 90,000 invested in this field right now, um, and so we'll definitely make that back easy. Um, definitely uh, you know at 44,000 a season it would take us over 10 seasons to actually pay this field off if we owned it so it's actually really affordable to just lease it as compared to buying it then on top of that we rent um, we rent another harvester and, and uh, draper and we're going to be uh, renting a uh, corn head, another corn head and combine Just because it's a lot cheaper than actually buying and owning because, you know, you rent, say, you, you rent for the combine for 10 hours worth of harvesting, you know, that's, what, 20000 
twenty some odd thousand plus your header and such so you probably invest twenty five thirty thousand on the combine for the season you know as compared to like buying that same combine that would be you know over you know close to four hundred thousand so um, you know you can rent rent or you would it would take you you know know 12 13 seasons to, to pay it off if you if you bought it so it's definitely more affordable to 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 lease right now um, but there is a fact a convenience factor because every time you lease you have to uh, go and get it at the dealer and you have to bring it back to the dealer and um, so there there is a, a convenience factor of owning but from a financial point of view you, you really can't beat leasing equipment because um, it, it just would take you forever um, I guess if you were to use the math like if you were to harvest all of this land with a single combine how many hours would it take versus if you rented um, a combine to do the same amount of hours um, I think that could be a valid discussion but the thing is we already own a combine and I'm, I'm saying like if you already own one does it pay to buy another one or just keep renting additional combines and, you know it's obviously more affordable and it's smarter to actually rent versus um, purchasing new so See, I have to update my canola touch on my draper. Ninety-nine percent. I don't think I get any closer to to a hundred percent than that.
Cause if they're doing this thing and then kind of to like hammer out some of this alfalfa as well. So we'll just roll up our doors. Just using the in-game mowers. Our dual wheels are in the big shed up there. So we managed to get uh, like 21 bales, to like 27,000 worth of bales out of that north part of 11. Um, uh, I also have that finance mod that like charges us. Um, like for uh, land, and uh, I think it charges us for land and uh, uh, income. So that's installed here, so they kind of nickel and dime us on that as well. People are asking me how do I mow alfalfa on my map. I mean, these are just the in game mowers. And, uh, and I guess people that keep using my leaked map, you know, it's like not even finished, 10 years old. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me why you would, but I guess they're having issues mowing alfalfa or something. I don't know. I don't really care. As you can see, it works pretty good for me. So. This is a uh, thick, thick, thick alfalfa. Can't even see the ground.
so we plowed up all these um, contoured fields and uh, basically just planted all alfalfa. I'm not sure if this will regrow or not, or if we have to replant it. So. Soil mod kind of just makes everything wither. I mean, it'd be great if we didn't have to replant. That means we'd gain like an extra growth stage, you know?
this would be fun to use my oxbow on.
just do a little bit more and then call it a day. as well to this map maybe get a little variety Looks like it's about that time, so turn that down. Got our trucks here. Turn that off.
harvested this field between playing on this field in 13 and and in 15 I've harvested this exact field so many times that It was a fun field to spray there with Jake. We were running two Patriots.
So still a lot to harvest. Thanks for watching.